Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Jess Althea's channel. So as you can see from the title, we're styling our locks. We're gonna be doing Bantu knots and pipe cleaner curls, a combination just to give it a new and different style. So welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, welcome to Jess Althea's channel. For my OG subscribers, welcome back. For those of you who don't even have locks, thank you for watching and I do appreciate your um, support of this channel. So as you can see, so as you see, I am doing some oiling of my scalp. You saw earlier where I did some spraying. So I moisturized and I'm oiling my scalp. I used a combination of rose water and aloe vera water. I combine those two, I make them at home and I moisturize my locks with that and then I seal in the moisture with some oils. This is a combination of oils that I have lying around the home that I have put in this bottle and I am oiling my scalp. This is a relaxing aspect of my hair care for me, just getting my scalp moisturized and massaged and really relaxing i had washed my hair previously i'm not sure if i mentioned and so i'm just putting in back the moisture and sealing it in with some oils i also used this sunny isle castor oil on my edges because i have some trouble receding edges and i'm using this castor oil to help with the growth so i'll just be focusing on the edges um, and the back as well. And then I will be sealing the shaft of my locks with the castor oil as well because it does help with the frizz that I have on my locks. I'm also watching some YouTube as well, catching up on some YouTube influencers. I believe I was watching Maya Galore's vlog at this time. So that's what I'm looking at. So yes, we're sealing in the frizz and the moisture just to, um, again, give myself a little bit of relaxing massage off my scalp and so forth and so on all right let's get into separating the locks just creating some partition again i am watching television so i seem off focus my eyes are looking up to the television watching some youtube and so i'm just going to create some parts um on my what i call my grid it's not the absolute best grid but i do have some parts here and i'm separating and just putting the hairs in place that are on my scalp that are a little bit loose and here you have the pipe cleaner and i will be placing that i do have two videos one on uh two videos on pipe cleaner curls so check those out and then I also have a recent video when I did Bantu knots, otherwise called Chiny Bumps. I'm not sure where that term derived from, but that's what we call it in Jamaica, Chiny Bumps. I hope it's not offensive to anyone. All right, so I decided to use some foam. It is a Sunny Isle castor oil foam that I found in one of my local stores, I believe was Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So I'll be using that as a light hold for my curls, putting in the pipe cleaners at this time, just gently folding the edges, the ends actually over the pipe cleaner and then just rolling it up just like how you would put a regular roller in your hair 
and then just to secure it and i will be doing that all over the front of my locks because i just imagined some falling curls to the front of my head and you will see that at the end on the takedown so i was satisfied with that so i moved on to the other side and then I'll again, I'll be doing that all over the front of my head. So let's speed it up. All right, so here you have the front being done with all the pipe cleaners. So I'm going to move on to doing the section of Chiny Bumpin' slash Bantu Knots. And so I opted to do a rope twist down the length of my locks before putting it into a Bantu Knot. So that's what I'm doing at this point and then I will twist it up onto itself and secure with a rubber band to keep it on my scalp. I was having some lighting trouble, so I do apologize for that. So again, I am doing some rope twisting down the length of the lock, and then I'm twining it upwards and creating a Bantu knot. and then secure it with a rubber band. All right, so we're adding some additional foam to the root so that I can control the flyaways. And then again, go in with the two strand twist down the shaft of my locks and then twine it up and secure it with a rubber band and i do that all over the rest of my head Had a little bit of trouble with that one, so I had to reapply the rubber band so that the Bantu knot would be secure. Just know no process when you're doing your hair, whether it's locks or loose natural. Um, when you're doing it for yourself, you'll have challenges, so just be patient. All right, and so I completed the Bantu locks all over my head, and then I was just applying a little bit more of my combination to moisturize and then tried to just secure the edges so they would be a little bit more tame and a little less raggedy. <laughs> I had some dippity Doo gel that I was utilizing with this toothbrush just to tame the edges. And then I will go in and tie it up until the next day. I was satisfied with that. Time to tie it up and head to do the rest of the chores for the day. And then I'll show you the results next.
So these are the results, guys. I loved the outcome. So you had the, I took down the actual pipe cleaner and I ended up with these lovely curls, some little tendrils at the side and a little bit of a side bang. And then I left the Bantu knots in place and there you have it in the back. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell and please do come back. Thanks again for watching Jess Althea's channel. Bye.